Hey guys, I'm Dave Reddy. I'm a fitness trainer who works with a lot of seniors and active adults. And one of the first things we do, and I'm sitting just in my office and just talking to someone about what exercise can mean to them, what we're doing at home, what we're doing in the weight room, whatever that is, I just watch them sit down and stand back up. If you haven't heard, sitting is the new smoking. All right, chairs are the new cigarettes. It is becoming so uh, prevalent now in, in just our 21st century lifestyle, okay? We can work and play and make money and play games and visit friends all at our desk at our computer. And that's a problem, okay? It's fun to play games and visit with people, but we're at our desk and we're at our computers all day long. So especially if someone comes in and says, I have been sitting all day long at my job, at work, or at home, we want to unglue them from their desk and get them moving, or unglue them from their chair, rather, and get them moving. But simply standing up can be a problem. So whether you're standing up from a chair, uh, a couch, a lower uh, cushion couch, or the toilet, which is always a little lower, we look at what that looks like and, how, and, and, and kind of ensuring that we're using the right muscles, okay? So the first one we look at, if you see how Marina is sitting here, her feet are together, her feet were pretty close together, and one toe is kind of turned out. This is what people will do to then stand up, and they're kind of in a compromised position. So what we want to first do with standing up, we're just going to look at two things today, is bring your feet wide about hip width, okay? So about hip width, now when she stands up, she has a nice strong base, okay? Because what we see is that people stand up, we, we want to be balanced, and then be able to take that first step, okay? That's the first thing. Number two is we want our feet underneath our center of gravity. Okay, if Maureen has her feet out about where they are, and if you look at her ankle angle, it's about 90 degrees. In order for Maureen to stand up right now, she really has to lean forward, get a lot of momentum going, and then use her lower back to kind of fix that momentum and stand up. Okay, so go ahead and stand up once and sit down. Good, and then have a seat again. Okay, perfect. So when she does that, the more momentum you, you throw into that, just standing up, process, which we, we do often, hopefully very often throughout the day, we're compromising our lower back, even our neck and, and our knees, okay? So what we do is we pull our feet back a little bit further. And the challenge with this is that the further Marine pulls her feet back, now she's bending her ankle. So see that ankle, that ankle angle? And so what we do is we need to stretch your calves out and stretch your heels out just to stand up from a chair, okay? So we're going to look at that in a second. So now her feet are hip width. Her feet are pulled under her a little bit more. She can even you know, sit up straight, scoot forward a little bit, and then when she stands up, she pushes through her heels and stands up nice and tall. And have a seat again. Let's do that two more times. So really, she pushes her heels into the floor, and that helps engage her hip muscles. All right? Your hips are your main power. So go ahead and stand up again. Awesome. Okay, so now that she's standing, what is one simple way to stretch your heels out, your heel cords to help with that posture? We have what we call a, a foam roller. This is a half foam roller, but any step um, at home, a curb, um, go ahead and come forward. And Maureen's going to stand on this, and it's going to stretch your calves out. It's going to stretch your heels out, okay? I have people going for walks outside in a parking lot, and, just, and they'll stand with their toes up on, a, uh, up on a curb, which is a great one to do as well, okay? So you see where Maureen came backwards for a second, because this challenges a lot of things. This stretches her heels, which then goes through her calves, all the way up through her hamstrings, the back of her whole body. So really everything is being stretched in the whole back of her body. Okay, so the more that she improves the ability to stand here nice and tall and straight with good posture with her toes up, the more she can improve her balance. The more she can stretch her legs out to improve her ability to stand up and sit down. Not to mention walking and, her, and everything else. So, all right, so go ahead and have a seat again. Thank you so much, Maureen. That was perfect. So, to go through something like that, just sitting and standing, we do all day long, just to be a little more mindful of those things. We're sitting so much, so when you do get up and get moving, bring your feet a little bit wider apart, push your heels through the floor, and really get your feet under you before you stand up to minimize that momentum and minimize the use of your lower back, especially uh, to minimize or, or reduce some of your lower back pains, okay? And that's a simple heel stretch to do as well. Incorporate some of these ideas. If you want to work with us in person or see some of these ideas in person with some of the small group work that we do, um, you can contact us with the information below. <laughs>